Hello everybody, I'm Jamboni Karibuni Kwa Broadcast Yangu Hi, hi, hi everybody I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back So sorry I've been gone And uh, I haven't recorded this in a while And I'm so happy to be back Welcome to my broadcast everybody Tuning in for the first time My name is Emmy. I love, 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 love Encouraging people I love connecting with people who are looking for solutions I just wanting to talk about life and um, encourage each other uh, <laughs> encourage each other and build each other up so I was going on vacation and I am back and I'm so grateful I have so much to be thankful for sorry I am recording from outdoors if you hear some noise and I hope I'll be I hope my voice will be clear so I had, I had gone on vacation, I had gone to Kenya, and it was so good to be in Kenya. It is so dry and dusty, and I hope it has started raining since I left. Oh my god, somebody's flying up there. I wonder who. <laughs> somebody's flying. Okay. Alright, so I have so much to be thankful. I thank God for you. I was praying for you. Thank you everybody who asked about my whereabouts. I hope your life is going on wonderful. I'd like to start this broadcast by reading you a verse in the book of um, in the Bible, in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verses 13. It's one of my favorite, favorite verses. So this is what it says. The temptation in your life is no different from what others experience. And God is faithful. He will not allow temptation to be more than what you can stand. In another version it says the temptation in your life is not uncommon to mankind. In other words, what you're going through is not uncommon to mankind. It is normal. It is normal. It is not unique that other people are going through. And it says uh, God will provide you a way of escape so that you can be able to endure it. So I know I have difficult moments in my life some, some days and uh, I prob I'm probably talking to somebody who's going to, through a hard time. I wanted to share this verse as a reminder to you that God is not a silent bystander, that he is or she is, whatever relates better to you, that God is not a silent bystander and is your partner, is partnering with you, and that he'll provide you the strength. Whatever you're going through is not uncommon. It is not uncommon. Sometimes when you're going through issues, it is so easy to feel isolated. And it is so easy to begin to tell ourselves stories and feel sorry for ourselves. Why me? Why is this happening to me? And it is so easy to internalize our problems and begin to feel shameful because of what others are doing to us. Because of what they are doing to us, we begin to internalize the shame as though we are the ones who actually are doing the wrong. Perhaps some examples. We human beings are very interesting some of the things we do to ourselves, to our fellow human beings. Maybe you've been kicked out of a house in the middle of a winter by a relative, by parents, by friends, by a spouse. Or maybe somebody told your secrets and jeopardized your employment or your, 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 um, your reputation in society. Or maybe somebody took advantage of your naivety. Maybe you have a mom or a dad that hates you. It is not uncommon. However shameful and harsh it might feel, it is not uncommon. Or maybe somebody has demanded uh, sexual favors as a condition to continue to help you. It is not uncommon. You're not the first one. And just because I'm saying it's not uncommon doesn't mean that I am okaying it. It doesn't mean that the Bible is saying that it's okay, that that behavior is okay. No, it's just not uncommon. 
So I guess uh, what I'm trying to do is to help you not feel isolated and just to remind you that God is with you, that whatever cup that has been brought to you, that God will provide a way for you. Sometimes there's a song that says sometimes God comes the storm and sometimes he calms me. So God works in mysterious ways. You're going through whatever you're going through, but God will provide a way for you to escape so that you can have strength to endure what you're going through. So I'd like for you, instead of feeling isolated or instead of feeling shameful, acknowledge what you're going through, acknowledge it. Express it, even if it means just expressing it to yourself. If you feel like it's too much, you don't wanna share it, acknowledge it and express it. Express what is happening so that you can have some sanity and so that you can move on and bring it to a closure, bring it to a closure. Give yourself a chance instead of escaping it, instead of uh, looking for many ways to avoid what is going on. Give yourself a chance to develop tolerance of uncomfortable feelings so that you can walk through your imperfect life. We all have lives that are not perfect. We are going through something. Everybody is going through something. They might not share it. You see in the bookstore, a lot of people have shared their stories. Perhaps you haven't read, you know, go to the bookstore and start reading and see how people are overcoming their challenges or what stories, what experiences they have. And you'll find that you are not alone. You're not alone. So start making peace with the parts of you that you are denying and find a place to relinquish in you, to relinquish the need to make a perfect story about your life. I know we all want this perfect life and Facebook is such a tool to project perfection from from others. People just, you know, give shots of vacation. You know, they have so many friends. Good things that people show on Facebook. And sometimes it's easy to buy into that that people have perfect lives. Nobody has a perfect life. Really, nobody has a perfect life. So I wanted to come here today, coming back to my rebroadcast here to encourage everybody to say that God is not a silent bystander. He is a partner and that whatever you're going through, it is not uncommon. God will provide a way so that you are able to endure it. I wish you all the best and I hope you will find that, you know, that everything that you're going through, everything will work for you good. And this too, like they say, shall pass. This too shall pass. This too shall pass. So until next time, thank you for taking time to listen to my broadcast. And I love you. God loves you more. I'm praying for you. And so good to be back.